I've talked about the place command before, but I want to really address it in a nice, thorough, solid video from beginning to end. The place command is a way to send your dog and keep your dog on a specific target that's really, really solid. It's a super important skill for your dog to know because it can be used in numerous amounts of situations. Today I'm going to show it to you with the Duanimator and I'm going to show it to you as well with Maya. What I want you to focus on with the place command is it's a safe place for your dog to be and it's a place for your dog to be where he can't get or she can't get in trouble. Giving your dog this command and telling them go to your place can later be changed to go to your car, go to the crate, go to your place, go to the other room. It can be used for a host of different things. To teach it in the beginning, we want to be really, really fair with the dog and we want to show the dog what we want. It can be done with pressure and it can be done with rewards. I'm going to show it to you with Dwayne with rewards. And I'm going to use some really yummy treats. I've got these really yummy Lucy pet treats that I'm going to use today. You're only going to use a really small piece and what you're going to do with this is you're going to simply walk over to your target and you're going to put it there and you're going to let the dog see you put it here. I'm going to put it there and say, Dwayne, where's your place? Yes. And I'm going to mark that. Good boy, Dwayne. And I'm going to break it even smaller here and I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to say, Dwayne, where's your place? And there he goes to his place. And he's already starting to lie down, which is a really nice thing to see the dog start to do automatically. Good boy, Dwayne. Now what I want to do here is I want to get him off of there, but I don't really want to basically pull him off of there. So what I'm going to do here is with a little bit of pressure, and I see he sees the treat in my hand now, and he's going for the treat in my hand, which is what I don't want to have him do. I still want to have him understand that this is an exercise where the dog has to go away from me. So I'm going to throw a treat there. Yes. Good boy, Dwayne. And I just kind of spatially take him off of there. Now this time what I'm going to do, see he's going to, good boy, yes. I'm going to throw it between his feet. I want to start adding a word to it. So what I can do here, and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take him, and I always use a long line in this training, and I'm going to put it on the dead ring or just here. I don't want to choke him or give him any super harsh correction. So I'm going to say, Dwayne, come on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant a treat on there, but I'm not going to let him get it. Oh, there's a good boy. There's a good boy. And what I'm going to do is take him away over here, and I'm going to point him in the direction. Now, here's a really important piece. I have a treat in my hand, and the mistake people make is they'll say, Dwayne, where's your place? And he's confused because he sees the treat in my hand, and he knows he should go to the place. So what I do here is take the treat, put it in the other hand, and say, Dwayne, Where's your place? Dwayne, place. And he runs over there and he gets it and I say yes. Now, this is normal. He's going to run right back to me and he's not staying in his place because he thinks I have the treat, which he's right. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to take him with me and I'm going to show him the treat. Come on, Dwayne. And I'm going to show him, oh yeah, there's your place. And he's seeing the treat coming from me. This can be confusing, but I'm going to clear it up in this video so that by the end of this video, you'll understand how to send the dog away from you and to the, to the bed. Come here, Dwaymater. I'm going to put the treat there. Oh, good boy. And he got that one. I can't fault him for that. Where's your place? Where's your place? Nope. Nope. Oh, good boy. Where's your place? Oh, boy. Oh, there's your place. And all you're going to keep doing is, where's your place? Where is your place? Oh, where is it? And what I'm doing here is I'm restraining him. Where is your place? Where is your place? Where is it? Yeah, that's your place. And I'm going to actually take him away. And that's going to build an incredible amount of drive for Dwayne to want to go to that. Now, I'm going to just turn and say, Dwayne, go to your place. And there he goes, and he comes right back. This is exactly what I want him to do. He only has to touch it. He hears the marker of yes, he gets the treat, and he comes right back because he wants to try again. What I'll do at this point is show you that if I wasn't using a treat, if the dog was not treat motivated, how I could do this. And what I could do here is I could just take him spatially and say, get on your place. Good. And put him on his place, right? So here he understands, I'm in my place, good place, good place, and he's going to stay there. And sometimes you'll see the dog will even stay there better without using too many treats because once the dog starts to see, I'm putting a treat there, I'm the conduit between the place, the treat, and the reward, he's just going to keep coming back to me because of my charming personality. 
Good boy, Dwayne. While you're doing this, don't give your dog too many markers, rewards, or interactions from you, because that's going to make him keep coming back to you, and that's going to be a problem. So again, I'm going to load the place. Now remember here, when I load the place, he gets the reward, but then he also sees I put the reward there, so he comes back to me for the reward. And that's the piece that we need to work on, right? Come here, Dwayne. So I'm going to put the reward there. Oh, good boy. There's your place. And remember, I've got a treat in this hand. If he sees this hand, he's looking for this reward. It's the easiest one for him to find. But I don't want him to go to this one. I want him to go, go to your place. To that one. Good. Dwayne, down. So now what I want to do is get him on the place, go to your place, and he has enough association with the place at this point to know that's the place. Now, some dogs like Goofy will get on the place and think that treats are going to keep falling on the place from me. And this is a piece that you can now add in so that as long as he's on the place, good things happen, right? But now when the things run out on the place, what's he going to do? He's going to start looking for other areas. So when I throw this treat, it has to go on the place. It can't bounce off of the place. The minute it bounces off the place, you've got a problem of a dog getting off the place. Good place. Good place. So now what I want to do here is I want to actually add a little distraction. I'm not going to tell him come off. Ah, 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 ah. Good boy. Down. But I want to put a little pressure here. Good place. And this is the same way I teach the sit command is I'll say, good place, and I'll actually try to drag him off of there, and I'll actually go, good place. So I'm reassuring him in his mind and in what he knows that he should be there, good place. But physically, I'm giving him a distraction, good place, and I'll put the treat back on there, right? Good boy. So he sees I have a treat, and if I give him a pull, he normally would come to this treat, right? But I don't say, hey, come get or anything. But this is the distraction phase that I can hear start to do the treat. Now look at that. That's amazing, right? He's saying, I'm going to stay good place. I verbally reassure him that I want him to stay in that place while I distract him because that's what's really going to happen here, right? He's going to go to his place and something exciting is going to happen in front of him that he's going to get off. It's going to be somebody at the door or it's going to be somebody distracting him. Another dog. We'll bring another dog out as well. Here. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Down. So those verbal interruptions, that quick interruption of him, the minute that paw comes off, and I'll play that for you again on the video. Good. Ah, 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 ah. The minute his paw comes off is when I correct him, right? I don't want to do it late. I don't want to do it when he's in front of me. Good. Ah, ah, ah. And people make that mistake. They'll wait till the dog's actually in front of them and then say no, which is negative for the dog. The dog should know being with you is positive, but here, place, good place, good place, good place, good place, right? Good place. Now, this is going to take some work. Janet has done a lot of work with the Duanimator, and that's why he's so well behaved. He learned this through a lot of repetition, so I can show you how it works, and he's still making mistakes. Duane is going to be two years old on Janet's birthday, and he still makes these mistakes, right? But we have to prove him, good boy, good place, good place, good place. And this will take you probably a few weeks to master. So now, remember, I'm never going to reward him for getting off his place. Just like when I teach crate training, I never reward the dog for coming out of his crate. All his rewards tend to only be in the crate. So here, when I'm teaching a place command, ah, 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 even though he knocked it off, I'm not going to let him get off the place. Good place, right? Keep feeding these treats. Even now, start to work a distance. Good place. And I'm going to go here, across. Good place. Repeat it to him. Good place. And when you come back, good place. Now, that piece is only going to happen after I've done this proofing. So that he thinks if he gets off here, I'm going to correct him. I'm going to say, hey, ah, 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 you know, and, and put him back there. Good place. And he gets a reward there. So I reassure him that's what I want. So that if I run away from him, which would be a really good distraction for him, 
he's not following me. He's actually saying, my dad wants me to be in this place and I'm gonna stay here. And if he gets confused and tries to figure out what to do, good boy, he doesn't get up and make that mistake, right? Dwayne and I want you to see the rest of this video. So why don't you go over to my member section at robertcabral.com, join today and learn all the best training for you and your dog.